Men, 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 men. If you want a secret that I've learned <laughs> to how to de determine whether or not you should take a girl seriously in a relationship, ask her one simple question and her response will tell you everything. Ask her, in your opinion, what went wrong in your last relationship? And guys, mm. if this girl goes on a laundry list of things the guy did and never for a second says one thing she did wrong, run, 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 run. Quick. I'm not, I was, I was thinking that. Run quick. It shows somebody who has no ability to be accountable for what they did wrong. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before she leaves you and she blames you. Very interesting topic, but I see things a little differently. Because first off, that question is kind of vague. Like, if somebody asks, like, what went wrong in your last relationship, typically they're not asking for a list of imperfections each person brought to the relationship. What they're asking is, why is the relationship no longer existent? Like, what was the deal breaker? Why did you guys break up? And that's a completely different question. So if a woman is answering in that context, she's not saying that her shit don't stink by listing all the reasons why she left. If she says that, hey, the man was disrespectful and he was negligent and he was inconsistent and he was whatever what she's saying is that was my tipping point that's what i could no longer tolerate beyond the norm of what anybody would expect to have to look past in a relationship because we're all works in progress and with that i have no problem with a woman that answers the question like that in fact i would say it should be a red flag to her that the guy that she's talking to sees it as a red flag and is unattracted to a woman who does not give herself some responsibility for her ex's actions no matter what now, that ain't to say that, you know, women never push good men away because that happens all the time. But there is this narrative that women should always attach themselves to the wrongdoings of men. If not attach themselves to the wrongdoings of men in terms of causing those wrongdoings, they should at least present their flaws any time that a man is being held accountable, which implies that he had a right to do what he did or she deserved for it to happen to her. So if I was talking to men, I would say, fellas, if you ask a woman a question like that, first off, be specific. But secondly, if she answers in a way that distinguishes what happened to her from who she is and how she measures herself, I, should, I would say that should be a turn on. That should be something that attracts you if you're coming from a healthy place. Because it takes a healthy person to be able to separate and make that distinction from all the ways that people have hurt them from the measurement of their self-esteem. That means she's not coming into a new relationship or trying to with those unhealed wounds, beating herself up, blaming herself for everything and unfit to love you fully in a relationship because she hasn't learned to love herself. Secondly, I would say, be careful not to miss out on your blessing because that sounds like a confident woman who's not so desperate for a new man that she's afraid to run you off by talking about how her ex did her wrong and calling it what it is out of fear that you won't be attracted to her anymore because you want a woman that's going to absolve you of your transgressions in the future. So those are just my thoughts. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments, though. I'll let y'all later. Peace.